2024, New Year, same me. And with it being New Year, same me, I'm back on my same goal, trying to help Roblox devs get a lot better at making games. And today, to do that, we got to recap OP Indie, One Piece New Dream, so we can go back and look at what they did wrong and what y'all can avoid doing with making y'all games, okay? One Piece New Dreams, a lot of people know it as a One Piece game that was selling stuff to make people, you know, buy stuff and let them get money. And that's the reason why people stop playing on its own, but that's too easy. I'm not going to take the easy route. Everybody know don't sell stuff in game. I'm going to tell y'all one of the gameplay mechanics that failed that y'all can try to avoid to make your game flourish, okay? When New Dreams closed, it came back with a lot of new stuff. Things like DFs and a new high level seeds area called high level seeds. Now the purpose of high level seeds was to keep ultra strong niggas away from those niggas that starting the game. It's what you would have thought if you never knew what came in high level seeds. Allow me to explain. Long story short, when you die in high level seeds in no time, you get kicked out back to low level seeds and you will lose bounty in two full hockey levels. So you think to yourself, who the fuck would play a One Piece game that punishes you for fighting? Like nigga, it's a public One Piece game. People play the game to fight. Why am I losing so much progress? And to make it even worse, they knew the system was ass. What they did to make people play in their ass system, they made a cursing game to where if you was low level, like if you was above the bounty cap of low level C's, you would start to lose bounty until you teleport to high level C's. That was their way to force niggas into playing a horrible update that nobody wanted to play. And they knew this. Cause why else would you add that system if unless you knew niggas didn't want to go? It got so bad to the point that people stopped playing because they didn't want to play under the horrible exile system. You know, because they didn't want to go to high level C's, they was going to lose bounty, so they just stopped playing. So they removed the curse system. You're going to see this a lot. Of them trying their hardest to not remove the exile system, which was so horrible, they keep beating around it, and it, 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 it just caused more players to leave because they was like, okay, nothing's going to change. Let me keep going. So testing's over, exile system's still in game, and the game drops, right? The game drops, and it's like 30 people on high level C's. And it's not 30 people as in like one server. It's 30 people split across like five servers, right? And some servers have like one, two people. So I'm over thinking like, damn, why is nobody in high level C's? Oh, stupid black star, the game just came out. Is what I thought. And I thought back and I was like, yo, the game has never reset data. There was like 120 plus niggas in testing all around my bounty and I'm in high level C's. So where are these niggas at? And then it turns out that you can look in the general chat and this niggas complaining about people being too high of a level in low level C's while they still here. And I'm like, yo, these niggas are sitting in low level C's because exile is fucking horrible. And to be honest, I can't blame them, right? Think about this, right? You go to high level C's. Also, the, the, the low level C's, the high level C's jump is fucking horrendous. You, you, you force to leave low level C's at, at like two hockey. Hockey max out at like six, right? So you can jump from low level C's to high level C's. You get jumped by like five niggas all stronger than you, at least two times stronger than you, and then you get sent right back down to where you came from. No progress. You lost bounty, but more importantly, you lost hockey level. And you know what the devs update was to make this, you know, a little bit better? Or so they thought. You now lose less bounty upon getting exiled. Nobody gives a fuck about bounty when getting exiled. It's the hockey that take days to grind, my nigga. They, they refuse to remove it. They refuse to take out the exile system. I don't understand why. And you know, let me rephrase that. I know why the exile system is in game. I just don't understand how I thought it was a good idea. Or, or I can't comprehend it. The exile system, long story short, was to create a gameplay loop. You know how Deep got wiping? That was their idea of a gameplay loop. But unfortunately, this game isn't on Deep's level by, by, by anywhere near. No niggas going to wipe and get back on this game. Like, okay, I'm about to go have fun. No. And Deep is like 10 times faster to actually play and level up and shit. And in this game, my nigga, like, it, it takes a long ass grueling time to get back your hockey levels. And the crazy thing is, is that niggas was telling them this, right? I can't be mad at somebody for trying something to see if it worked. As, as a dev, all you can do is try shit. Okay, you tried the cool, it didn't work. What I can get mad at is me trying to tell niggas, you know, help niggas out, and then they're like, oh no, oh, it works, cool. I showed the screenshots to the nigga. I was like, bro, the game has 200, but the game had 300 some players, right? I was in a high level C server, it was like 30 people in high level C's all together. And there's 300 people in the game, and, and at least 70, 80 plus more people that's my level should be in high level C's with me or in, or in low level C's. And he like, oh, that's good. And I'm like, nigga, if you just tell me 30 out of 300 players is good, my nigga? Like, that's a, that's a good high level C's count to you? 30 out of 300? I, when he said that, I was like, bro, it's cooked. It's cooked. And then I realized why it was so cooked, right? On top of the devs trying to defend Exiling, you know what was defending Exiling? High ranked and high level ass people in high level C's. This was the niggas who was like their friends and shit who probably got free stuff. Who probably feel like, okay, 
I'm strong, I can be on high level Z's. And I realized what they was doing. These niggas was turning high level Z's into some exclusive shit. They wanted to feel important. They wanted to feel special. They wanted that feel of, okay, a nigga come up here, I send them back down. LOL, I'm the final boss. What they didn't expect was that niggas don't want to play that shit. Like, it's not a CC game. It's not a testing game no more. It's public. Nobody's going to play that shit. They they got to the point where they got they knocking niggas down so much, they're like, okay, this shit boring. Now, they, they don't even play no more. The niggas who was gatekeeping, trying to keep the game shit so they can feel special, don't even play no more. That's fucking crazy to me. And, I, and I'm sitting here like, bro, I'm talking to niggas like young and shit. I'm like, it's no way you defending this bullshit, bro. Like, you really, you, you sitting to defend the XI system like, on some real shit? You really, you really believe it's a good system, bro? Nigga didn't say anything back. I'm like, dog, bro. This, this is why I keep telling niggas. You keep yes men from around you. Because if these high rank niggas didn't agree with this bullshit, we probably wouldn't have it. But you got these high rank niggas want to spill, oh my god, we're so special. We're knocking niggas down out the high level seat. Now you got nobody to play the game with. Now you fighting by yourself. Now you don't even play the game no more. Now you, a game you probably like, a game I like is ruined because of, cause of niggas like you. Yes, man. And dick riders. And it's crazy. This video probably could have came out a lot earlier and maybe even saved the game. But last time I made a video on the game, niggas didn't even watch the video. They just went straight to Rod and Dick. So now your game is in fucking shambles. Who was wrong now, nigga? Does Black Star ever miss? No. Like, it's, 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 it's so fucking easy. I'm not saying listen to me. I'm saying listen to your community. There were so many niggas saying remove exiling. Even if you don't listen to me, what about the hundreds of niggas saying the same shit? And watching your player count dwindle every fucking day, you should be like, okay, what do these niggas want? How can I please these niggas? But, just like I said, New Dreams was a game where niggas was selling shit under the table and shit, so you probably didn't even care about what the game was. It's probably, New Dreams was a scam, okay? New Dreams, we, we, everybody knew New, 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 New Dreams was a fucking scam. I knew after my first video how niggas reacted, I was like, okay, yeah, this is clearly a scam rig, and they don't really give a fuck about the game. But what I'm just telling y'all is how not to do this. If you had a game you care about, don't make a bullshit ass system and think niggas gonna just agree with it. And also, keep, I keep saying this every time, keep yes men from around you. It does, it do, it does you no good, my nigga. Like, stop. Get some real fucking testers and some real fucking people around you, bro. Like, keep these dick riders around you, bro. That's all I got to say, man. Hopefully, y'all enjoy your New Year's. Y'all take it easy out there. Hope everybody's safe. Hope everybody make 2024, too. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more content. I'm going to start streaming more this year. This time, I, I'm, I'm actually serious. I'm actually serious. I'm, I, I know I say that every other month some shit, but no. I'm going to stream more this year. Shit. I might stream later on today. I'll catch y'all later. Now, directly after I was about to, you know, press render on the video and render it out, they drop this update right here. The update says, and I quote, Reduce exile punishments from high level Cs, lose 0.5 pockets tier instead of 1. Lose bounty, 20% of bounty instead of 50% of above 100 mil, and below 100 mil you lose 50, you only lose 5% bounty when exile instead of 10. Keep in mind, by the way, they're doing everything, like I said earlier, they're doing everything except removing this fucking god-awful system. It's not that hard. Take this shit out. I don't know if this is a pride thing. Maybe, maybe, maybe they don't want to be wrong, but come on, bro. You, you already killed the fucking game. You're trying to revive it. Just do, do, do this won't help. Remove the system, bro. Take it out.